Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install WAMP on Windows Server 2022. Before starting, you will need to visit the WAMP server's official website and download the latest version of WAMP on your server. Once the WAMP server is downloaded on your server, double-click on the downloaded file to start the installation. Select your required WAMP components such as Apache, PHP, MySQL, and MariaDB then click on the next button. While installing the setup of WAMP server, it will ask which browser you want as default in the WAMP server. After selecting the default browser, the WAMP server will also ask us to select the default text editor which we need in case we want to edit Apache or PHP config files. By default, it uses the notepad of Windows, I think it doesn't need to be changed, so that's why just click on No. However, if you want to change the text editor then click on Yes and locate your third-party installed text editor. Click on the Finish button to complete the WAMP server installation. To test the WAMP server, double-click on the WAMP server icon on your desktop to start all WAMP services. Once all the services are started, open your web browser and type the following URL. You should see the WAMP server test page. To access phpMyAdmin, open your web browser and type the following URL. You should see the phpMyAdmin login screen. Provide the default username as root, and leave the password field blank then click on the login button. You should see the phpMyAdmin dashboard on the following screen. After installing WAMP on Windows Server 2022, it is time to use the WAMP server. The WAMP server provides several options to manage all components. To access all WAMP components, right-click on the WAMP icon in the notification bar. You should see all configuration options on the following screen. Please click on the tools. Now, click on the command windows. Click on the option of the command line interface you want to use. Now you can interact with the pre-configured environments and perform the related task via the command line interface. 